creating a far greater explosive potential without having had to have explosives on board and getting them past U.S. security either at Dulles, Air, Air, uh, Dulles Airport or at, at Boston. 266 people on the aircraft alone today who have died in this attack on the United States and on the American people. Now, in our control room, somebody says there is a... Let me go first to Bill Blakemore and then perhaps to Joe Torres um, of WABC, our affiliate in New York. Bill Blakemore, are you there? And I gather you saw number seven come down. Yes, I did, Peter. I'm standing right on the west side highway. The skyline of the financial district has changed again. Just a few minutes ago, I was talking to some people. I was facing north. I saw a shock in their face, heard screams spun around, and then we just watched the building fall in it on itself. I believe we have a little bit of tape here. That's, uh, Peter, it was uh, an astonishing thing because the, the civilians who were standing around here were all amazed, but things have become so bizarre down here that the hundreds of firemen who were standing around looked at it, felt a bit shocked, but then just said, well, we're going to have even more work to do. Uh, associate producer Lucy Kerrigan had been over near that building just a little bit earlier, and the policeman had told her that they feared the building was going to come down, that they were evacuating people from around it, so that's one little bit of good news is that there may have been fewer casualties from this latest collapse than there otherwise might have been because they knew of the potential. But it's now um, still a very hot day here. The uh, search and rescue operation is mounting even larger. There are dozens and dozens of fire trucks backed up on the west side highway, police trucks. There are what look like hundreds of volunteers who have showed up who have been marshaled by the Red Cross, all with masks to avoid breathing in dusk, but nobody can go in yet. We're still looking at buildings that are on fire down in the center of the financial district, and it's clearly a great deal of devastation. It's uh, not too strong a word at all. It's going to take a while even to assess how bad it is. B Bill, do you have any idea whether or not other buildings in the immediate area are vulnerable at the moment, whether there's concern about any other building as there was about this additional one after the towers? Well, from the angle I'm looking at, um, we can see one other building still on fire, and it seems to be on fire through the length of it. I would estimate that's like a 30 or 40, about a 30 or 40 story building. Uh, the problem for any one of us, of course, is that because of the other buildings down here still standing, which are so tall, you can't get a very clean view of the whole thing from the ground. But there's at least one, and it's clearly uh, going to go on into the night. There's a lot of black smoke pouring out of that building now. Thank you, Bill. Just, we just stay with this photograph for this graphic for just a second. Well, no, there's number seven coming down. When you think that, that, that uh, part of the component of news coverage around the country every year is the excitement and the fun that people get watching an old building being demolished and they wired very carefully for days and it's a very careful operation in order to make sure that a building comes down safely. I think the last one we saw was when they brought down one of the old casinos in Las Vegas. I mean, this is just stunning to see these things come down inside in the case of the two, the north and south. Uh, towers there of the World Trade Center, you know, come down within a couple of hours as a result of the structural damage, weakening that was done when these aircraft hit them. And now, number seven, the World Trade Center, which is, which is 47 stories tall. We're talking with the World Trade Center north and south, 110 stories tall. Um, an eerie experience to be in them at, at the best of times. They sway in the wind and. and and, and people uh, have long had experiences with 